Hey everybody, welcome back. It's another edition of Stevenson Holmes New Music Monday. Let's talk about what's happening in country music across Canada right now. Uh, we've got four new songs for you at CKFM and Country 106. We'll start on the Canadian side of things. And High Valley, we talked about this before. Uh, High Valley, which started as a family band, it was the Rempel family from up at La Crete, Alberta. Um, and then it filtered its way down and then there were just uh, three brothers left and then there was two brothers left and now they're down to one of the Rempel brothers left and he's decided to stay on and keep the High Valley thing going and he's essentially fronting a backup band and they call themselves High Valley. So they're continuing on uh, right now. They've got a song called Whatever It Takes that's still riding pretty high on the charts but they've already released a new single to follow up on that. It's a team up. High Valley along with American artist Granger Smith and the new song basically hits all of the checklist points that you need for a country song these days country music trucks and girls is the name of the song that's the title of the song so they're really just doing the checklist there uh, but a new song for High Valley and Granger Smith together another Canadian artist and it is a, a maritimer who lives in BC these days uh, Wesley McInnes he goes by Wes Mack and Wes Mack is back with a brand new song and it's called Ain't Got You, a really cool new breakup song from Wes Mack. On the American side of things, a couple of new songs there as well. We'll start with hitmaker Luke Combs. Yes, one of the most popular artists in country music right now. He's back with a brand new song, and it's called Tomorrow Me. I think the really interesting thing about this song, uh, he co-wrote it with Dean Dillon. And if you don't know who Dean Dillon is, uh, Dean is one of the best songwriters in country music history. He wrote a majority, I would say, of George Strait's biggest hits. So when you need a really country song, a real pure country song written Dean Dillon is a guy that you go to and uh, Dean Dillon co-wrote this with Luke and another fella as well a new song for Luke Combs called Tomorrow Me and another American track as well that is new. A uh, young fellow by the name of Dylan Scott. He's one of the relative newcomers in the American country scene. And he's got a new song. It's called New Truck. Now, if you're familiar with Tim McGraw's 7500 OBO, uh, the gist of that song being that he's got to sell his truck because all it does is remind him of his ex-girlfriend that just broke up with him. Well, the new one from Dylan Scott the exact same song. It's called New Truck and basically he's trying to get rid of his truck because it reminds him too much of the girl that just broke up with him. So there you go. Basically the same song but a new one for Dylan Scott rocketing up the charts right now called New Truck. Uh, let's talk about what is climbing right now on the charts. We've got Parmalee. Their latest is really flying up there. It's called Take My Name and uh, that one goes up nine spots from 34 to 25. On the Canadian side, Lindsay L. She's got a new one called Right On Time. It's continuing to climb as well up eight spots from 35 to 27 this week. Uh, Kane Brown, his new one called Like I Love Country Music is up 11 spots from 52 to 41. And John Party's latest as well, called Last Night Lonely, also climbing this week. He's up uh, four spots from 21 to 17. On the way down right now, kind of falling on the charts, uh, Blake Shelton's comeback as a country boy. Should be a new one from him coming very soon. Lee Bryce Soul, also on the way down now. And uh, Gord Bamford's Drink Along song, on the way down now, because of course he is the new single with Terry Clark, called I Ain't Drunk, that is climbing on the charts. Uh, our new song you should watch out for this week, I think the uh, new one for Luke Combs is the one most destined to be a hit song. It's called Tomorrow Me, so be on the lookout for that one. It's our latest edition of Stevenson Holmes, New Music Monday. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll be back again uh, next week.